Are you building a business or a job? You know, that's a question most of us will always ask. But you have to remember, you know, when I first got started, uh, this is back in the 80s, uh, when I started my first cleaning company, I, uh, you know, I did it out of the need of, of supporting my family. So essentially, yes, I, I had a job. But, you know, uh, that's what it was all about. You know, I had to pay the bills. I had to take care of my family. So when I started my cleaning company, that's exactly what it was. It was just a job to generate revenue, and it, which was very, very important. And then as time went on, you know, I learned more about the industry and, and uh, different services and this, that, and the other, and how to actually build a business. And, uh, you know, the difference between the two is really that uh, if we have a job, we're typically, you know, a solar uh, operator uh, or we only have, uh, you know, a small amount of employees, two or three employees. And, you know, we're just doing that to, to meet, meet the needs of, of our families. You know, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, in order to build a business, that means that we have to create systems and controls. And we have to build a business in which the business does not rely on us. And that's really the difference when we look at the two. So in a job, uh, your, your company actually re relies on you to be there because you're, the, you're typically the only person or you're the person that's, that's heading up everything. Um, so that's what we would consider a job. But now if you, had, if you actually uh, were building a business, you would have systems in place and you'd have a team in place uh, in which that it wasn't reliant on you to be there. And that's the great thing about building a business, because if we can build a business to where it's not reliant on us, the owner, that means that gives us more time to do other things that we may be interested in. And that's what most business owners do that have scaled and built a, built a business. And, you know, that is a great thing because you can, you, you're, as you continue to grow as a person, uh, uh, personally and professionally, uh, what you, will happen is that you'll start to get other interests, uh, interest in things. Uh, so if you're building a business and you've got these things in place, as I said, we have systems and controls, and then we have a team, a great team in place uh, to which uh, they can handle the day-to-day -day operation. And uh, you're probably only spending 5% uh, of your time per week there at, at the business. You know, that's the ideal situation. So that's really the difference between building a business and building a job. Our job, we're there you know, 40 hours, 50, 60, 70 hours, you know, it's, and it's a job and it, depend on, it depends on us to continue to operate and run. Where our business, uh, when done correctly, we have those systems, uh, systems and controls in place and we have a team in place to which we do not have to be there. The company is not relying on us. Uh, the people are not relying on us for the company to continue to, to produce and stay in business. So that's really the difference. But like I say, it's a personal choice. You know, not everybody that starts a cleaning company wants to build this thing to be a million dollar business or, you know, a multi-million dollar business. That's not important to them. What's important to them is that they that they started this business uh, to take care of their family and they're happy with that and there's nothing wrong with that. So I want to make that very clear that just because a person has, has built a business uh, to where they're doing multi-million dollars worth of business, uh, and the business is not re, uh, relying on them doesn't mean that that's for everybody uh, because it's not you know uh, you have to remember that the cleaning industry as a whole is made up of companies that do uh, less than one million dollars in revenue and that's that's what the industry is made up of you know it's not these multi-million dollar companies they're not companies five ten fifteen fifty hundred three hundred million dollar companies it's not you know, especially those those three hundred dollar or three million three hundred million dollar companies are typically the top of you know the the top one percent. Uh, you know, and they don't make up the industry. The companies that are doing uh, less than one million dollars in revenue make up the industry. So keep that in mind. You know, so that's companies that could be doing you know a quarter million dollars, a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollars a year. You know. And in some of those there, well, maybe they're considered a job because they, the business is still reliant on them. That's okay. But that's what you want to think about uh, when you start your company. You want to ask yourself, are you building a business or are you building a job? Uh, like I say, there's nothing wrong with either one. But just keep that in mind as, as you continue to build your business. And uh, let me tell you one thing is that no matter which one you decide to create, you can sell both. 
you can sell a business and you can sp sell a, a, a business that is a job to where you're a solo entrepreneur. Uh, I know people that have done that and they've done very, very well as a solo entrepreneur uh, operator uh, with a cleaning company that have done very, very well uh, just themselves out cleaning and have generated some decent revenue and they've sold those companies. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But uh, so anyway, you know, ask yourself, always ask yourself that question, you know, are you building a business or are you building a job? Either one's fine. So yeah, if you want more information on this, you can always go to the janitorialstore.com or myhousecleaningbiz.com. And uh, hopefully you got something from this. Uh, that's what, the whole reason I do these videos. And I uh, just want to say thanks for checking in today and we'll see you next time.